Okay, all right, so this is Greg Baker. He runs one of the labs over here at the University of West Indies, the Mona campus in Jamaica. So Greg, we had the Software Freedom Day, and uh, from what I hear, it went really well in terms of the flyers and CDs and all that. So what do you think about the event? What do you think, what kind of impact does it have on this campus this year and, you know, a few years in the future? Well, um, the immediate impact, I would say, is that a lot of people have got introduced to free and open source software that they might not have been aware of before and perhaps they'll start looking and downloading it. So that's the immediate impact. But in the longer term, I think what's, what I hope will happen is that this will get more Jamaican students involved in a worldwide community of free software. Um, and that it will introduce some kind of awareness of and discussion of um, the issues of um, intellectual property and control essentially of your computing environment mm -hmm. that are very topical in a lot of areas of the world mm -hmm. but that discussion hasn't reached the Jamaican market yet in an important way and I think it really is important because I mean we are a small third world country um, and we should be aware of our options. A, a lot of times when people are talking about starting a business, mm -hmm. um, they think, well, a part of the startup costs are going to be licensed for the software and the software and the software. And they're not aware of the fact that there are options. Right. Um, and of course, when you're considering your options, you have to think about TCO and all sorts of things, all sorts of issues, but you should be aware that there are options. And I think an awareness of that is what I want to see um, Software Freedom Day and the related issues create in our in our society. So what do you think, uh, you know, the CDs that you guys gave out, it had um, 20, 30 different pieces of software. Which of those, thing, those pieces of software do you, do you think are going to be popular with the students here? All right. I think Audacity is going to be very popular. Why? Um, because playing around with music that way is fun mm. and all of I have a number of friends who, who like who are into that sort of thing and they all know about um, the proprietary paid software mm -hmm. options mm -hmm. in that space but I've played a little with Audacity and I find it's very good it's a lot of fun very full featured um, I think most of our students are already aware of tools like Firefox and so on. Mm -hmm. I wonder how many of them are aware of the encryption tools. Okay. And of course, we know that people like to play around with things like screensavers. But that's cool because right, right. one of our needs on campus, we found, is for a non-threatening, friendly introduction to computer technology. Mm -hmm. For some students who come in, especially more mature students who are doing business courses and really are not comfortable with computers at all. Okay. And so we want to give them things that they can play with, mm -hmm. you know, things that they can try out, you know, hey, it's free, you know, if you break it, no problem, you know, and give them a chance to get used to using the computer so that when they sit in front of it with an assignment to complete, they don't go, oh my God, I don't know how to <laughs> use this thing. Right. And so. So what are plans for next year? plans for next year. Since well, you, you are here in the lab, you know, you, uh, you see students come in and use the computers every day. So, you know, you are kind of seeing the issues on the ground. So what do you think we should do next year, apart from what, what we did this year? Well, I think next year is going to be more challenging. Or at least I hope it's going to be more challenging because we plan in the labs to experiment with free software and to start applying it, say, in the teaching space. Um, and one of the things I want to do is give the students the option of booting into Linux. Now, I know our IT infrastructure guys um, are aware of some challenges with that, you know, um, getting it integrated into our network and so on. But I want to really work on that so that students can start coming into the labs and getting used to these software products that are available and that they can just download and use themselves at home.